Today we are talking about Connor, the destroyer, Ben. Connor Ben's come from nowhere. He has held the WBA Continental Welterweight belt since 2018 and is a British professional boxer. He has made five title defenses. Although he is only 5 feet and 8 inches. His muscles appear to be strong enough to withstand an unbreakable blow. He is a welterweight boxer, age 25, with a 21-0 record. According to ESPN, he is the 8th best welterweight in the world. One of the finest talents in boxing, Conor Ben has a bright future ahead of him. Well So let's continue. Ben chose to learn boxing the hard way despite from a privileged upbringing, and he hasn't stopped since. Many believe Connor to be the next popular British athlete in the sport after Anthony Joshua. He is a box office success, blessed with heavy hands that are brutally striking, and he exudes confidence that is fueled by an unwavering sense of purpose and possibly destiny. He is a powerful, aggressive fighter that draws a lot of attention from the crowd due of the excitement he provides. At the age of 19, he made his professional debut at London's O2 Arena in April 2016, when he defeated Bulgarian Avelo Boyanov via technical knockout in the opening round. Due to his powerful knockout ability, Ben is referred to by fans as the destroyer. Very attack-minded, isn't he? Oh, really yeah. wants to get this over with. Oh yeah, this guy's had enough already. That's done. Here is some information about the invention of mouthguards. In 1892, British dentist Wolf Krauss started making mouthpieces for boxers. He placed strips of natural rubber resin on their teeth before the boxers entered the ring. The first reusable mouthpiece is frequently credited to Wolf Krauss's son, Philip Krauss. Jack Britton and Ted Kidd Lewis's championship bout in 1921 featured Philip Krauss's idea. Mouthguards earned a lot of popularity and respect in boxing after that. KO. 14. Nigel Benn, a former two-division world boxing champion, is the father of Conor Benn. Because of his powerful punches and aggressive fighting style, Nigel Benn earned the nickname the Dark Destroyer. He retired with an 83.3% knockout to win ratio. The 20-year-old Benn said. I feel honored to continue the legacy my dad created. But because of his legendary status, if I accomplish even half of what he did, I will be fortunate. The United Kingdom is renowned for producing skilled fighters over the years. Let's go look at a few of them. Howard Winstone. 27 knockouts and a 61-6 career record brought him to retirement. Given that, he fought primarily with his left hand due to losing three fingers on his right hand in a workplace accident in his youth, his accomplishments are all the more remarkable. Lennox Lewis. Lewis was, very simply, the most dominant heavyweight of his time. Lewis was born in London. He entered the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 2009 and had a career record of 41 wins, 2 losses and 1 tie. Prince Nazi, undoubtedly the most entertaining fighter to ever compete in Britain. The man known as Nas became renowned for his extravagant ring entrances. He improved to 35-0 to with 31 knockouts. Ricky Hatton. The hitman Ricky Hatton is among the most well-known boxers in British boxing history. His career record was 45 to 2 with 35 knockouts. That concludes today's episode of Boxing Welterweight Prospects. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click the like button. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification button to be among the first to receive new videos. We, from Boxing Welterweight Prospects, wish you a pleasant day.